Just picture a grown woman getting smacked doggy style. Throwing up. And not giving a fuck. I don't waste my time. Get to the point. It's my joint. Gotta go hard. Play this fuck. Go put up points. The problems we face. <sighs> fuck. Alright, y'all. The story time y'all have been waiting for. <sighs> Here we are. Um, I was supposed to drop this video a while ago. Like, I already edited it. I already edited the video and everything. But when I made that video, I did it like right after it happened. So the way I was explaining it, I really didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't told in depth enough. You feel me? Because I was just blabbing and shit. So. What I'm going to actually do is a reaction video to that night and just retell the story, you know what I'm saying, from a uh, from a right mindset, from a proper mindset. So yeah, uh, let's just jump straight into it, man. I'm going to just do a reaction video. Oh, this shit is fucking crazy right now. It is currently 240 motherfucking 5 a.m. Hey, don't waste my time. Get to the point. It's my joint. Uh, gotta, gotta go, go hard. hard. I allowed this young lady to come over. She was downtown, I guess, drinking or whatever. She wants to pull All right, look. First thing first. First thing, I know I look fucked up. Hold on, let me see. Yeah. Up. I know I look fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got her makeup on my face. My hair, like, beard. It, I know I look a mess. You know what I'm saying? I, I know. I know. Shut up. We, 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 we just overlooked that. <laughs> Now we plan to do something that wasn't I said. Cause I'm ready to tune it in anyways. And even when she came over, I was like, look, I'm tired. You can hang, you can, like, she just went, chill, right, chill. Chill? Like, yeah, you can come chill, but for a little bit. Like, it's already, she had called me at, what time? Let me go check, cause I got receipts and shit. She called me at 12.16, but she didn't pull up till 12.54, but I'm already in bed and shit. And um yeah, I just like come over. I said you 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 just you just ain't better stay long. You know what I'm saying? I'm already I'm ready to wind it down, nigga. I'm ready to go to Buck and Bed, like pull up, chill for a second. Then wanna have no sex with this girl. She come over under the influence of alcohol, pretty much attacked me. Not attacked me, but obviously we kissed before, so obviously she had permission or the go ahead before in previous encounters. But she drunk. She wants some sex. Ah, uh, as soon as she ah, uh, bro, I promise she she just started attacking my face. <sighs> Let me go ahead and break this bitch off some dick. Broke off some dick, right? In the middle of sex, bro. In the middle of sex. Ma 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 ma. Beating it up doggy style, right? <sighs> Come on, focus, camera. Oh, damn, bro. Damn, drunk ass, she threw up on my, she threw up on my shit. Let me just stop right there. So let me, let me, let me get y'all the, 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 the details, man. The details, man. So look, cast out there, getting down. So um, I'm in bed already, like ready to wind it down. You know what I'm saying? TV on, finna go to sleep. Uh, we were supposed to link that day, but I wanted to go to where she was at. You feel me? I was trying to pull up on her. That way, you feel me? I could just dip. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I wasn't really in the mindset. Of, you know what I'm saying? So, I wanted to go to where they was at or where she was at. But she had told me, she was like, oh, I'm about to go downtown and have drinks with my with my friends. So, I was like, all right, cool. She was like, so what you finna do? I said, come on, cat. I said, uh... Finna, you feel me? Finna throw on some Netflix and, you know what I'm saying? Binge watch TV, talk, go to sleep. Sure, all right, whatever. Whatever the case may be, man. She ended up calling me. Uh, Wanted to come hang out and shit. But it sounded like she was kind of, like, begging for my time. So I was just like, all right, you could pull up, but you can't stay long, like. 
chill for a little bit and then dip. You know what I'm saying? So she had pulled up. Now I even went outside, like I even went outside and, and sat in her car. So you know what I'm saying? It, it, so nothing would go down. Get in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, she attacked my face. Like, we had a conversation that led to a kiss, right? So, we kissed or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing it cool. So after that first kiss, she was like, Oh, why you do that? I was like, Why I do what? She was like, You know what you did. And I'm like, Oh, she gotta be flirting with me. She, she must be flirting. I didn't do nothing. Like, she must be flirting with me or some shit. So, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I ain't do nothing or whatever. Then she says, like, a couple, couple seconds, and she's like, that was hot. Can I get another one? She's talking about the kiss, bro. And once, once, it, it just went down here. It went down here from there. She said, that was hot. Can I get another one? Then she just linked over to my, it just, it just went down from there. So now I kiss her back or whatever. 30 seconds go by. You know what I'm saying? You know how you you, you, you you wrap the kiss up. 30 seconds go by. I'm like, okay, I'm cool off the kiss now. So, you know, you round it. You know, you, you start, you stop, you know what I'm saying, being all about it. You start getting your little little pecks in, then you stop. I did that. You know what I'm saying? The whole little peck and everything. I stopped. Start pulling away. She about dumb down there. Put her whole fucking arm around my head. Brought a nigga back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, okay, she must be feeling it. Like, she must be a little on. You know, she, she, she horny or something. You know she, Bro, another 30 seconds go by. I'm like, okay. I'm trying to back up and shit. The more I back up, the more she climbing on my seat. Like, she damn near in my seat. She's damn near in my seat. The more I back up. And, and, and she just, she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't stop, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm in my head thinking, whole time I'm in my head, th I'm thinking like, damn, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, how long is she trying to kiss a nigga? Like, what is, what's going on, bro? Like, all the all the body language in the world was, was saying, I, I'm not trying to kiss you, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't worried about none of that body language, bro. So in my head, I'm like, bro, you might just have to break her off some dick. You know what I'm saying? Scratch scratch her back. She scratched my back somehow later. You know what I'm saying? I'll scratch her back. You scratch my tight mentality. I don't know what. I was like, fuck it. I'm finna break her off. Now, when I when I decided to do that, I snapped. Like, I snapped. I was, damn! <laughs> my cat got scared. Damn! We might as well go in the house. I said it just like that. I said it just like I said, damn, we might as well go in the house. Like, she was attacking my face and I snapped on her like, damn, we might as well go in the house. Like, you all on me. She didn't care, bro. I said it just, she did not care. She was like, okay, I'm down with that. And I'm thinking like, I just snapped on you and you still trying to yeah, you must really be feeling the alcohol. So that's how we got in the house. That's how we got in the crib, man. That's how we got. It. That's how we got in the crib. She threw up on my shit. She threw up on my bed. Right here, big ass onion. I hate watching this shit, man. <laughs> big ass onion. Like she drunk. She drunk. Obviously, look. I'm not even gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm sober. Sober as fuck, right? She the one downtown. Hit my phone. Can I come over? Yeah, I'm in the bed. I'm about to go to sleep. Fast forward to everything that happened between in, in the meantime. Yeah, that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? For a motherfucker, but when you having sex with young girl, like you know what I'm saying? She called me to come over my crib. Like yeah, I know she was downtown having drinks, but I don't know if she drunk to the point where she finna start throwing up on my shit. You feel me? Like. She drove to my crib from downtown. You the one driving drunk, you know what I'm saying? You got to my crib. So I'm assuming everything, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't that impaired, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
she was able to hold a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, she knew, she knew, she knew what she was doing. Driving to my motherfucking crib. She came to the crib to get, to get. She attacked me, bro. Like, you already know what's going on. So yeah, man. Like, she not that as drunk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know how it be when you know you drink, but the alcohol don't smack you in the face until a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? So. Probably around the time she got to my crib, as soon as she got in the crib, you know what I'm saying, that tequila smacked her ass in the face. She be trying to be like me, I'll drink Patron. She like to drink Patron, like, nigga, stop trying to be like me, but can't handle that, nigga. Patron put me on my ass one time, you know what I'm saying? Let me Boom. You on my bed. Beating that thing up. Got my rocks off, right? She don't get the fuck off me. So I'm like, okay, let me give her a round two so she can get the fuck off me. Right? Boom. Put her in doggy style. Start smacking the doggy style, right? She like this in the covers. Nigga just doggy style. Lay it out. Pour her ass out. I look at her hand. Her hand all moist and shit. I'm like, why are your hand moist? She weird as fuck. Kinda got a stench? Didn't really get it. Kinda got a stench. Didn't really get a stench. I don't know. Oh. Um, so, I investigate. I got closer. I was, started sniffing around. I smell throw up. I smell it. Um, I don't know why she didn't say she had to go throw up. I don't know why she didn't stop things and say she had to go throw up. I really don't know. Yeah, look where the bathroom at, y'all. Right there. The bathroom right there. Probably right, right there. So, from here to here, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I'm gonna stop right there. So, yeah, man. Um, we got in the crib. We got straight to it. You feel me? Like, I just told her to just take that off. You know what I'm saying? Went in the crib, came in the crib, and just take that off. Take that off. You know what I'm saying? Start beating it up. I don't even, like I said, I wasn't on that type of time, so I, so I just get it off the way, boom, get it off the way, like three minutes, boom, bust, bust mines, get mines out the way. <laughs> Cold nigga, right? Cold nigga, right? Get mines out the way. And, and, and I'm just laying there, bro, and uh, she is a cuddling on me. I was like, God damn, so... She's still heavily engaged. After I already get mine, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just irritated a little bit, you know? She playing with my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got a mind of his own. You know what I'm saying? He got mine. He wants some. He gonna get some. You know what I'm saying? So, she get me back hard again. Like, she just kept playing with it. She wouldn't get off me. So, dick boom, dick back hard. You know what I'm saying? Throw her in doggy style. Beating that thing up. And then that's when I just start smelling throw up. You know what I'm saying? Now, the, what gets me is how you're a grown woman, right? You grown. You're grown, right? We're, we're, we're having sex. You threw up. I would think an adult would be like, okay, I'm about to throw up. Can we stop having sex so I can go throw up, right? Or if it was too late, it just suddenly happened. She just, <clears throat> it just came out too late, a little too late. Okay. Hey, I threw up. Let's stop having sex so I can clean myself. You know what I'm saying? She didn't stop. It's of course. Like, well, and, and she's grown. So, just picture a grown woman getting smacked doggy style, throwing up, and not giving a fuck. That shit was fucking crazy to me, bro. And she made like a, a, a drunk situation, an awkward one, like. What's fucking crazy to me is how deadass I said do you need to go to the bathroom 
She said, no, I'm fine. I said, you sure? You didn't, you, you didn't throw up? I'm like, you didn't throw up? She said, no, I'm fine, I'm swear. Word to fucking mother. Don't clown me. Niggas be going through some things sometimes. King size, but I don't have a king size pillow. So she threw up on the back of the pillow. So she threw up on the back of the pillow. This is before I started asking questions. She started trying to hide it. So she grabbed my pillow right here. So she threw up on this part, right? She grabbed my pillow from here and started rolling it like this. So now the throw up is on this side. Eventually, the pillow ended up halfway rolled up. And that's how I knew she threw up on my shit. Because my pillow case was halfway off my pillow, rolled the fuck up to disguise the throw up. So pretty much, I already knew she threw up on my shit. I go to the bathroom. Asked her multiple times, asked her three times. She is lying about it now. Lying about it. Like, like I said, I'm sober and she's the one drunk. So, she's so fucked up to the point where she's drunk and she thinks she's being like super covert about it. Like, sneakily trying to do the shit. But I'm looking dead at Sober as fuck just standing up looking at her doing, trying to hide the shit type shit. Uh, asked like, yo, you need to clean up? No. Did you throw up? No. Woo, 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 like, you, you lying. You're just a fucking liar. You're lying. You're fucking lying about the shit. Hid the shit, threw up, didn't stop. Start washing my hands and my neck. When I walked out the room, she completely, as you can see, she completely took the, the pillowcase off the, off the pillow. Completely. She completely took the pillowcase off the fucking pillow, right? I went downstairs. What did I do? No, I was in my room. I, I was in my closet. So when I go in my closet and start digging in there, she get up and go to the bathroom, right? She get up and go to the bathroom. Now she's in the bathroom and I hear her throwing up. Meanwhile. So pretty much what I did was, um, when she threw, when she threw up, once I, once I already knew for sure that she done, done threw up on my shit, she, she was lying about the shit, and I, I was trying to get her to go to the bathroom, but she wasn't, so I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do, like, she's embarrassed, you know what I'm saying, so she's trying to hide the fact, so I know she embarrassed, like, I don't even know why I gave a fuck about how she felt in this situation, but, you know what I'm saying, nigga wasn't, I'm not an asshole type of nigga, so for me, you were just, I'm confused. I'm shocked. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck to do. She not trying to go to the bathroom, so I don't already nutted and <laughs> I already get my rocks off, right? So I'm cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I clean myself. She gotta clean herself. <laughs> Regardless, if she threw up or not, she gotta go clean herself. Um. I just stopped engaging with her completely. You feel me? I go to the bathroom, clean myself. I come get get dressed. I get on my phone. I'm just ignoring the bitch, trying to think of like what the fuck just what the fuck. How how am I gonna proceed? And then she finally get up and go to the goddamn bathroom. Me, I'm in my room for a second. I was like, you know what? Let me help her. Um, I'm not no asshole type of nigga, really. I'm not really no asshole, so I'm not like I will kick y'all ass the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? I'll kick you out for like over disrespect. Obviously, throw up. I'm gonna let you so stuff together for me. If you drunk to the point where you're throwing up, we could have made it work somehow. I'm not sure I would have let her sleep in here. We're not like that. This is just, just you know what I'm saying? It's not like, like that. I would have had her let her sleep in my room because I'm not finna let her sleep in a different room. You know what I'm saying? That's I gotta keep you gotta keep your eye on these motherfuckers, put them closer to the wall. Nigga, you move, I'm waking up, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to climb up over me, but yeah, it was just weird. I'm, I'm thinking about. I wanted to kick her out just because she was lying about this shit, but I'm not finna kick a drunk person out the crib, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was what it was. That is like her probably third time coming over here, so. But, um. Yeah, I don't trust bitches spending the night, so. 
I would have let her rest till she's sober or something. You know what I'm saying? She she just got done throwing up. Like I'm not no asshole nigga or nothing. Like I don't want you here. I, I do want to fucking kick you out, but I'm not no motherfucking asshole. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, you know, let me start figuring out how the fuck I'm gonna help this girl. She in the bathroom. Um, throwing up and shit. What do do? She flushed the toilet. She come out the bathroom. All right. When she came out the goddamn bathroom, look what I got here. Hold on. Got a cup of ice, some water. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna, I'm finna hook her up with a nice cup of, a cup of water. You know, help her sober up, right? She hear me because I was putting ice in the cup. She obviously heard me boom. She heard the ice, woo boo boo. Next thing you know, I hear my door close. Now my front door is we're in the kitchen right here. So as soon as I, I just take a couple steps over here, put the camera this way, front door right there. When I heard my door close, first thing I did was ran the fuck upstairs. And so, I'm trying to help her get sober at this point. You know what I'm saying? Trying to help her sober the fuck up. Uh, she dip out the crib. You know what I'm saying? She dip out the crib. Right? Right upstairs. And uh, my pillowcase is gone. My pillowcase is gone. Now, I know it's just a pillowcase, but she stole my pillowcase. She stole it. You took my pillowcase and you stole it. You stole from me. And, you know, I try to get motherfuckers benefit of the doubt. So I'm in the hot mess right now. It's all, it's all good. I try to get people the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, maybe she did steal from me. Maybe she took my pillowcase so she can wash it and bring it back. Right? One, I don't want to see you again. Each, because even though those are attentions, you know I'm downstairs pouring you a cup of water and you grab my shit and you leave my house without acknowledging that you're leaving my house. Now that's perfectly fine. If you want to leave the crib, leave the crib. Because you know I'll go to a bitch house, smash, and, and and get the fuck up out of there when she fall asleep. You know when she fall asleep type shit, I'll be going. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, fuck you. No cuddle you to go to sleep and get the fuck about your crib. You know what I mean? So, would that be a double standard? I don't know. But all I know is she got the fuck about here without saying shit. With one of my possessions. Albeit a pillowcase. My window is boarded up with, you know, a little Packers blanket or whatever. So, what I had to do was run over here to this room, the next room, which is this room, right? Move the window. She's getting in her car which was parked right behind my car, right? So she gets in the car, then she start throwing up in the trash bag. Y'all know comforters is $100? Y'all know the whole, with the comforter, with the two matching pillowcases, with the, uh, with the, with, with the, with the, uh, the bed, the sheet, the sheet, both the sheets, I don't even know what the other, you know, the two sheets, the two sheets, the comforter, the two pillowcases with a little motherfucking, Hundred dollars, right? Yeah, that's basically it. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what happened, man. Um, I I never heard from her again. Never heard from the girl again. I don't waste my time. Get to the point. It's my joint. Gotta go hard. Play this far. Go put up points. The problems we face.